We have now seen attempts to open a discussion among EU member states about the union capacity to absorb new members and the need to look for alternative options to full EU integration of the Western Balkans, like privileged partnership or economic integration. Solutions as such, however, will ultimately weaken EU role and art its interests as they deprive us of the tools for driving the democratic transition in the region. That is why Italy strongly opposed these attempts at the last EU-Western Balkan summit in Bordeaux. It is indeed easy to foresee that these alternative scenarios would create a political vacuum that could be easily filled in by other actors whose values and interests are not necessarily in line with the European ones. We are well aware that when the EU does not deliver, someone else tries to benefit from the situation and we saw it very clearly with the vaccine diplomacy. We need to take into account that our competitors are extremely aggressive on financial assistance and they do not ask for conditions such as internal reforms and we are not on a level playing field. Italy strongly feels that we need to offer these countries, their population and especially their youth, some concrete European perspective, not too far in time.